Taylor Allison Swift liked my TikTok. <laughs> hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are prepping for when I travel to Greece and Italy. I need a pack. This is all I have. I have all the clothes that I want to bring laid out. Most of them. I have some of them in the laundry right now. By the time that you guys are watching this, I think I'm like coming home from Greece, I think. So get excited for the travel vlogs because those will be next. And if you're not following me on Instagram and on TikTok and all that stuff, go check it out to see what I've been up to and all the travels. But we need to pack. We do. Also, I do apologize. These videos were like a little delayed, but I wanted to make sure that I had stuff to upload while I was out of town. So I pre-filmed a ton. Sorry, it's a little delayed, but you're gonna get all the travel content. I'm so excited. These are all the outfits, most of the outfits that I'm bringing. I went a little crazy. Something about me is that I like to prepare. That is who I am. I made this like doc. I shared it in my last video, but I made this like PDF of all the outfits that I wanted to wear on this trip. Yes. Yes. So I know that I'm wearing a cute outfit that like is appropriate and like fits the occasion that we're going to because there's some places like we're going to go to the Vatican, we're going to go to certain churches, you have to cover your shoulders and your knees and all that stuff. I wanted to make sure that I had cute outfits that were appropriate. And right now what I want to do is try them all on because there's nothing worse. I mean, there is many things worse than this. I hate when I envision an outfit to be super cute in my head and it's not. It's ugly. We're about to start trying them on. Let's start with day one. I definitely wanted to keep the first day a little bit more casual. I don't know if I'm just like not a button down girly. I feel like they just never look good on me, but I plan to wear my button down with a ton of things. So this is the first day. I also have my crew socks and then I'm going to wear my Air Force Ones. You guys have probably already seen all these outfits by this time. I'm only bringing my Air Force Ones and then a pair of chunky sandals. That's all I'm bringing. And they're honestly really comfortable shoes. So this one we're just going to be touring around Florence in and I think it's cute. This is the second outfit. It is the same shade of blue, but I really love this dress. We're going to be going to a couple of museums, I think, this day. Yeah. <laughs> I think that this would be cuter with my chunky sandals, but because we're going to be walking around so much, I do think that it is probably my best idea to wear sneakers, but I probably won't wear these tall snock snocks, these tall socks with them, but I think this dress is so freaking cute. I'm trying these on in order of the day, so this is the next day. Also, I will link all of these outfits down below but I have this green dress we're going on like a little boat tour and then we can swim depending on the weather and I was actually really curious like what a swimsuit would look like under this and I was afraid that you'd be able to see it but you can kind of see it a little bit but you can only see these little gems I'm gonna take this off but it's a swimsuit don't worry so I have this little swimsuit is from 437 it's actually a youtuber collab and really cute love the greens there are these little like gems right there which I think is super cute I feel like this is just like a little cutie dress probably gonna wear the sneakers with it again Again, I do think that the sandals will look better, but you know, comfort. I probably won't wear the tall socks with this because I think that looks a little, a little weird, you know. This is actually really cute and I think this is going to be so nice. I'm on like a little boat tour. So you can see the swimsuit from the back, but I honestly don't mind it. We're skipping the next outfit because it's currently in the washing machine, but this is the outfit that I'm going to wear to see the Colosseum and a couple of churches. In those churches, you have to cover up. So I'm going to be bringing my white button down every wear with me just in case it gets cold first of all then the places that you need to cover up let's see how this looks honestly kind of cutie i'm like wondering if i like do the tuck in thing if that would be cute or if i should just leave it open i think i might just leave it open these are extremely wrinkled like i don't know if you can see it looks like plissé which is like that wrinkly fabric and it's not plissé it's just simply that wrinkled i'm also a little nervous like these are kind of tight on me they're tighter than i remember them being so that's not good <laughs> also a little life hack that i'm doing is i'm taking a photo and okay i really don't know if i actually like this outfit do you guys hear the sounds that are going on outside my apartment Please stop. I hate it here. Cannot wait to move out of this apartment. I can't do this in the churches. I don't know. I feel like the button downs really, I just don't know if I'm not like a button down girl. I don't know. I think this looks fine, like without it. I'm like kind of like this, but with it, it's kind of stupid. I'm wearing this dress the day that we go to the Vatican. I was a little worried that it was too fancy, but I posted that on my story and everyone was like, Keegan, this is the exact type of outfit that people wear in Italy, so you're fine. So yay. My knees are covered. I'm gonna wear the sneakers without the tall socks and then I'm gonna put on my white button down while we're in the Vatican to cover my shoulders but my knees are covered so I thought this was like a nice dress and I also think it's so beautiful everything will be linked down below but like honestly most of this stuff is from Abercrombie that store just is like my personal style I do feel like the look will be ruined with the button down that's okay that is okay 
we respect. Oh, that almost just flashed you. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely does dress it down quite a bit, but I'm only gonna be wearing the button down while I'm inside the Vatican. That's okay. But yeah, my knees are covered. I'll just take photos like this. Honestly, not that bad. Kind of like it. Please bury me in this dress. Honestly, this can be my funeral dress if I die anytime soon. Knock on wood, that's not gonna happen. Please, I don't want, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I also have a pair of biker shorts on underneath this. Helps my legs prevent them from chafing, like my thighs. And then also I feel like it low-key snatches my waist you can see the seam here but i don't think that's that big of a deal love 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 so this next day we are leaving italy for good and then we're going to athens so most of the day is a travel day and then we have the nights to ourselves so i just found this dress in my closet a little bit shorter than the other ones so i think this is like a cute little grease dress it is kind of see-through though you can tell so i might bring like pasties and then nude like little shorts to put under this just so i'm not flashing everyone but i think this is like a nice little casual day you can really see through though wow good to know noted i'm kind of embarrassed because i'm blanking on the name of this but we're going to with the poseidon thingy oh my gosh i know the name of this but i'm blanking and i just don't feel like looking it up when you think of greece like the, the the columns you know that one place that everyone takes their instagram photos in front of that this is what i'm wearing these nice like flowy pants i also like them they have, like a little slit so there's some airflow i have this blue top whenever i think of greece i just think of blue so definitely wanted to wear a blue top to this a little belt bag which i think is a really cute look this was the look that i was the most afraid would like fail because i had never tried it on i just had envisioned it in my head i think it looks really cute and i think it'll be comfortable because i heard that it's a lot of walking which i was like mm, about i actually really like this outfit my hair looks crazy from trying on all these clothes we have a day where we're traveling to santorini and then we have like the night for free and i had no idea what to wear because i just couldn't find any clothes and then i found this dress in my closet from when i went to napa last summer around this time i think this dress is stunning there's like a nice little slit i actually might wear this on another day so there's another free day in greece and i might wear that outfit today in this outfit that day i don't know we'll see but i really like this one i got this a while ago from forever 21 like over a year ago and like i said whenever i think of greece i think of blue and like white so so cute i'm so glad i found this dress in my closet we have a completely free day in santorini this day this like super cute green striped dress i think it's so flowy at first when i tried this on i was a little iffy and i did an instagram poll like should i get this and you guys were like absolutely yes so i did and i'm really glad that i did i have a few options for this day i can either wear these linen shorts which i'll probably use my flat iron and straighten out the edges because they're kind of crumpled or i have these linen pants my other option honestly i thought that i would like them more than i do they're a tiny bit tight and they have this weird like line here because they have like shorts but they don't have full pants underneath they're growing on me but i still don't love them like i think they're pretty casual hmm because at first i tried on the shorts and i was like don't love and then i tried on these and i was like also don't love so i also have this other pair that has jawstring i'm gonna try that one on but i don't know if it's gonna go well with this top i don't like this because this is Ugh, like it hits at a weird spot and then these are really high-waisted and if I lower them There's a lot of gapping here. So my legs will chafe. Ugh, no I think that I'm gonna bring both the shorts and then the awkward pair of like trouser linen pants and then see which one I feel in the moment. This was the outfit. I wasn't sure if it would look good or not I think it looks fine. I mean, is this my favorite outfit of the whole trip? Absolutely not Is it the one i'm wearing on the very last day? Yes I kind of want to try this on with the white linen long pants that i'm wearing to the poseidon thingy that I cannot not remember the name of like i think this is cute i just think it'd be maybe cuter with like the long pants we'll see i can't tell which one i like better like i like this i just think they might be a little baggy right here i wish that i had a pair of like white jeans but every single time i try to buy a pair of white jeans they're sold out i really don't know i took photos of both i'll probably bring both and then decide in the moment i also have a couple of backup options this is a mess i have like a pair of jeans that i'm gonna bring in a couple body suits just in case like we go out at night my room is a disaster i feel stressed but at least I know most of the outfits look good on. Right now I'm gonna cut off all the tags to the clothes I haven't worn yet while watching TikTok. Enjoy. This is everything. I, mm, 
like it will definitely fit i just kind of folded it and like laid it on top of each other and didn't like strategically fold anything so yeah it looks a little meh. but like we're not done yet we still have stuff in the dryer in the meantime though i'm going to repack something i already packed <laughs> you might be thinking keegan you're crazy why are you repacking something you already packed because i want to make a tiktok okay so i got this thing there's gonna be so many links in the description just prepare yourself this is from amazon it's one of those <laughs> Ah, ah. And then it has a little hook. I've never had one of these before. I got one on Amazon and it's huge. Don't get me wrong, she's huge, but she fits so much. All of my makeup, all of my skincare, body care, all my makeup brushes, it has everything. I'm gonna unpack it. Yesterday, I just like put things in there haphazardly just to see if it would fit and it does. I'm also going to be making a TikTok, so it's going to be like weird packing this. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is putting one thing in there, backing up, waiting a second, Putting another thing in there, backing up, waiting a second. That's how people make TikToks in case you didn't know. Let's pack up some skin, makeup, beauty stuff. watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial as I'm doing all of this. I wanted to show you guys how I'm bringing my medication in case you're going abroad anywhere. Last time I was in Italy, I got so sick. I think it's the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. A lot of people that know me thought it was COVID before COVID was a thing because this was January 2020. I literally could not breathe. It was the worst experience of my entire life. So I'm trying to be very prepared with the medication that I bring. So a lot of the medications that come in bottles, I'm just putting a couple of them. This is obviously a lot. I plan on taking this every single day while I'm there. This is just like a vitamin C vitamin and I was sick a couple days ago and I started taking this and then it made me feel a lot better so I'm taking these every day. I also have this medication. I'm only bringing like a few of everything because I doubt I'll need a ton but for mucus and cough. I have Imodium which I needed this last time I was in London so I'm like should I bring more but I think I should be fine. And then I also have a laxative and how I label these was I just took blue painter's tape and wrote on it with a sharpie and you can kind of see it there. I don't have a label maker. I also have have this little thing of Advil and I'm gonna put all these in the front section of my little makeup pouch I also have ibuprofen that I keep with me in my purse I have allergy medication the only thing I don't have here is sleep medication I have these little like sleep droplet things that I'm bringing in my carry-on so I can sleep on the plane but that is all the medication that I'm bringing and I hope that it will help me because I didn't bring like any medication last time because I just didn't think that I would get sick and I got so sick so I definitely am going to take a ton with me and then especially take the vitamin C every day like this is a lot. <laughs> okay, let's start packing. <laughs> I'm nervous for this. getting hungry and I'm feeling overwhelmed so I might take a little bit of a break right here. Let me show you guys what I've done. You guys saw me going back and forth putting all the stuff in here. Honestly like this I don't know if it's going to be over 50 pounds. I feel like it's not going to be because I don't need the extender so I feel like I should be fine but I'm also a little bit nervous. I might put it on like my actual scale and see. There were some things that I just didn't have room for. One thing that I tried to do was I tried to lay the clothes in the order that I will be wearing them to the stuff that I'm wearing earlier in the trip like I'm gonna be wearing this like the second day I'm gonna be wearing this the first day those things are a little bit higher up here and the stuff that I'm wearing later on the trip is towards the bottom and then in here I just always get nervous <laughs> so I bring a million tampons I have like my swimsuit cover up a little swim bag and then a bucket hat I also have like pasties and scissors I always bring scissors along to like long trip did I even bring them along I don't even know where they are yeah they're in there I always bring scissors along because sometimes like tags hurt you and you don't have them if I check a bag I bring scissors this is the makeup bag that I was talking about earlier, which it holds a ton of stuff. It's just kind of 
big like i was always a hater of these bags because i feel like they took up so much space and they do i think that i'm fine with it today because it has all my stuff together but it is a little big curling iron or straightener on top of my shoes these shoes just take up so much space i also have like a pair of like smaller flip-flops in case we go to the beach i have all my swimsuits lined up right here these are pajamas and comfortable clothes i honestly could get rid of some i mean if it, i have like socks underwear and more socks in here i'm not bringing in any bras and then underneath it i have a pair of like sweatpants that i can wear if i'm cold at night i also have like a lint roller so i feel like everything is good in here i was debating between bringing a backpack and then this duffel bag but i definitely am going to bring the duffel bag as my carry-on i'm going to check this bag put this one under my seat i get really anxious when it comes to traveling without having like a carry-on bag i get really really nervous just with everything that happened with me with southwest if you guys know you know that situation gave me so much like anxiety when it comes to traveling if they lose my bag if i don't have my bag i haven't like fully put everything in here yet so i'm kind of just seeing how i want to lay everything out but i have my camera batteries i have some sd cards here i'm gonna put like my cords here these are my airpods so i just want to have all my technology stuff in one place and i keep saying this like i feel like this takes up so much room but at least i know i don't have to worry about multiple things because in the past i would use this one which obviously is so much smaller than this guy except for I couldn't fit everything in here like I couldn't fit my hard drives all my camera batteries all my SD cards all my cords the camera battery charger my converter so like there was a ton of stuff in here that I couldn't fit at all which is fine so I'm going with this one because in the past I would have to have two things like this and it would just stress me out making sure I have both like I'm always anxious that I forgot one on the plane or something I'm just gonna worry about this one if it takes up room it takes up room and then in here I have like some converters I'm gonna put like my hard drive and stuff I haven't done that yet and i might do that tomorrow i was wanting to do it today but if it's stuff that i consistently use i might just wait until tomorrow tomorrow is the day before i leave so i have to check in for my flight and everything tomorrow i will probably continue doing this but i just feel like i'm exhausted and hungry and my room is really messy which is stressing me out because i feel like when there's so much mess i can't see everything so i might get some food have some food in my system and then clean up my room and then maybe continue this tonight or tomorrow but i feel good about the progress that we made and I feel stressed about the progress we haven't. It is the next day. I have to be honest with you guys. Today is the best day of my entire life. Not kidding. I, I wish I was exaggerating. I think today will go down in history as the best day of my entire life. Taylor Allison Swift liked my TikTok. <laughs> She liked my freaking TikTok. Taylor Swift has seen my face. She's heard my voice. She knows I exist. I like am in shock. Let me tell you a little recap of this, of how this happened this morning. I woke up. I've been going to the gym before I'm leaving. I think I've been breaking out a little bit because of the stress. I've also have not been eating that well because I didn't want to get groceries, which led me to eating out every single day before I go on a two week trip where I'll be eating out every single day. Not my best move, but that's not the point. I woke up this morning and I was peeing. Okay, I was on the toilet peeing and something about me. Do you know how there's like the iPad kids like they can't eat unless they're like watching something? I cannot pee unless I'm like staring at a screen. I was going through my Instagram DMs and someone DM'd me and they were like, Taylor Swift like your TikTok. And I was like, there's no way. There's like literally no way. Like, no, 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 no. And I remember that I saw a TikTok where Taylor's likes are public. And so I was like, okay, let me go. So I went to her profile. I went to her likes and I was scrolling and I was like, I'm not seeing myself. I'm not seeing myself and then and then there it was my tiktok i literally just i i actually think i went like i think my jaw physically dropped in that moment while i was i probably wasn't peeing in that exact moment but i was sitting on the toilet i maybe that's just tmi but like that's just oh my like i Ah, oh, I feel like my whole life has led me to this moment and I know this sounds dramatic But like you guys don't understand how obsessed with Taylor Swift I am like I literally have a framed photo of her I have two framed photos of her in my room She's everything the first song I ever heard from her was Tim McGraw when that was the only song she had released like I am a Swifty I feel like I've dedicated so much of my life to her I, I want to know like where was she when she was watching my TikTok? What did she think? Did she think I was cute? Did she think I was funny? She obviously liked it. But like, I just, like, did she send me to the Taylor Nation so I can be in the next secret session? God, I hope so. God, I hope so. I just, I can't believe I was on her For You page. Like, I, this was just not something I expected to happen. I just, I, I have no words. Like, I'm so excited to go to Italy and Greece now, but I don't think that anything on that trip can, can, 
top this. This is the best day of my entire life. The best day by Taylor Swift. <laughs> but also, I tried checking in for my flight this morning, and it said that I, ooh, my COVID test result. You have to get a COVID test before going um, with E of Ultimate Break, and so I got one. But I tried checking in for my flight this morning, and it said that I have to check in at the airport, and our flight already takes off super early. So it's definitely it's going to be rough tomorrow morning. It kind of causes me a little bit of stress. Let's see. How do I open? Oh, wait, how do I see my result? Oh, I'm negative. Yay! I knew I was negative, but I'm negative. <laughs> Guys, I literally, Taylor Swift has seen my face. Taylor Swift has seen my, I literally wrote about it in my diary. Like, I just, today will go down in history. There are so many likes on this TikTok, and I'm going to scroll through all of them while I'm on the plane and find where she liked it and screenshot it and frame it. It's going to be decor. Okay, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Okay, but now we need to finish packing. So let's think about what I need to do. I need to pack my technology stuff. I have a to-do list, my new to-do list. Mm. I got more in the mail yesterday. I got my second sample of to-do list in the mail yesterday. So I was like writing on it and everything. And I would show it to you, but I not yet. So I have my technology stuff to do and then my carry-on and that's about it. And I also wanna make TikToks and all those. So should we get to it? Also in the mail yesterday, I got this camera strap. So watch this. When I'm in Europe, I'm gonna carry my camera on me like a Lululemon belt bag, like how, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Can you see me? Hello. Right now I'm doing the TikTok for my like technology packing video. Welcome as we do this. I'll link this technology bag down below for you guys. Something you should know about me is that I have major anxiety when it comes to technology because I have broken so many laptops, so many phones, so many hard drives, corrupted so many SD cards. I have the worst luck with technology. It's honestly insane that like this is my job because I just have the worst luck. Maybe it's because I do more things with technology than the average person because I make YouTube videos and I have to have like these really like high powering programs that take up a lot on my computer and on my hard drives. Maybe that's why. When it comes to traveling and technology, hmm the anxiety is here. Like I said, I will link this guy down below for you guys. It is very big, but it carries everything. So if you're a YouTuber or photographer, this would be a really great bet for you. If you're not, I'll link some down below that are a little bit smaller. But here's what I have here. I have four batteries and then I have six SD cards. Underneath you, I have an extra battery and an extra SD card that's blank. All these batteries are fully charged that I'm gonna put in my belt bag. So this is gonna go in my carry-on, but this is gonna go in my purse, essentially. My also also have a portable charger. I have two more portable chargers charging right now. One of them has just been at one bar for like a day and a half, so I don't think it's gonna charge. The other one is working, so I need to put those in there and then the portable charger chargers. My iPhone charger, I'm actually gonna put another iPhone charger in here. Number one, just in case, number two for my portable charger. I have an extra adapter that has like USB and everything. And then in this zipper pocket, I have a backup hard drive. It's honestly like, I need it, you know. And then I also have an extra adapter in case mine breaks so i have two extra adapters this one low-key is a little finicky so this one is definitely the one that i'll be using and then i also have two little things that are extra for my camera strap just in case like i lose them and break them and then in here this is the main reason that i got this thing organizer you can put your ipad here i don't think that i'm going to i don't think i need my ipad and if i bring it it would simply just be to put it in here and i'll probably never use it but i have my hard drive and with my hard drive i never unplug it from the cords because i always have issues with it and then I have my laptop charger. I have two of the like these thingies like the converters and I just store them wait how do I store them I store them like this so it takes up a little bit less room and then I have my camera battery charger and I have my little outlet and then I have my airpods in here and I'm probably gonna take this is like the little brick thing I'm probably gonna take these out because I'll definitely need to charge my phone tonight with them and again I have the extra one in my car I should really just go get it now I don't have to keep worrying about it but I'll probably just keep worrying about it instead because I'm lazy and don't feel going right now i think i have everything except for you know obviously the extra charger and the portable chargers that are charging i'm really happy with everything there's still like a ton of extra space if i wanted to put more stuff in here i just don't think i need more stuff in here i'm happy that i have my backup hard drive just so i can still edit on the plane no matter what all my sd cards are blank everything's charged i'm just like running through the checklist in my head i have another one of these at my mom's house and i'm going there tonight to drop off my car because my car got hit if you guys remember that vlog someone hit my car 
car and it's gonna get fixed while I'm gone so I'm dropping it off at my mom's house and then she's gonna drive me back she'll take it there she's so nice for doing this she'll take it to the car place while I'm gone that's everything I hope I think I don't really know how this video has turned out we'll see I'm gonna end this video here I finished packing which is crazy I feel like I did that a lot faster than I thought I was going to I love you guys get excited for the travel vlog I'll see you in my next one bye Mwah.